There we go. I'm live. Good morning. I'm finishing up. There's a Cindy hair. <laughs> Those little short ones that have just a little bit of curl on the end are mine. Because as the older I get, the wavier it gets on the bottoms, on the ends. So we're finishing up these little journals. I finished one yesterday. Where did I put it? It's here somewhere. It is. <laughs> Gosh, I picked it up a while ago. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Finished it up. I put some dingle dangles on the end of it. There you go. I'll just lay it right there. See, that really works real well, taking a lot of that shine off. So we are going to... We're going to make this little panda bear into a pocket for right here. Just right there. Gosh, Cindy, if you ever learn to cut straight, your things will start looking so much better. <laughs> the key word being, if you ever learn to cut straight. <laughs> so... Friday already. I don't get as excited about Fridays as I used to. For one reason. My main work work time is the weekend. Let's do the ends of edges of this just to make it stand out a little <laughs> anyway anybody have big plans for the weekend the kids here will be finishing up spring break so be back to school monday yay <laughs> actually it's been a real quiet week because all the neighbor kids went to their see family out of state so we're going to put a journal in page here. And then this little pocket here. Hi, Jude. How are you this morning? I've just messed around all morning. I meant to get in here even earlier than I did. I, uh, I've been up since 7 o'clock. Well, actually, before 7, I think it was 6.50 when I got out of the bed. Had a shower. I have on a pair of pajamas. <laughs> I have no plans to go anywhere outside of my house today. None. Zilch, nada. There we go. Make that little pocket. You've been daydreaming. You've been looking at property again, haven't you? <laughs> you have been looking at property again. You're looking for something kind of skinny to go here. What that? When we first moved here, I looked at property all the time. I was always looking at property. But then I realized that Dave nor myself are in any condition to take care of property <laughs> of any kind. So 
I kind of quit. And I actually really, really like my little house. And I'm not crazy about the kitchen. I actually, it's actually a little bit bigger than I like a kitchen, but it's okay. I like little kitchens, little galley style kitchens. I'm trying to find a skinny one. I want a real skinny one to go here. Perfect, right there. Anyway, but uh, I think that'll do me. Actually, you know what? <laughs> That's one I've cut apart. So let's just cut it a little bit more. Let's just cut it a little bit more here. Dave's listening to preaching. We'll just do that right there. Perfection. Anyway, uh, like I said, I'm just finishing this one up, and then we will do a flip through. And then I'm going to, because I've never made one, Beth was showing us last night how to do it. I'm going to fold a zine. A zine. No, 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 Cindy. No. What are you doing? I just realized what I just did. Man. Cindy, you just made a pocket. You don't want to block it. <laughs> there we go. Like, oh no. <laughs> I just made a pocket and then I put something in it that blocked it. What is this? I'm going to slide this little ticket in there. There we go. Booth and Fisher. That works real good. Fisher. That's nature-ish. <laughs> that kind of looks like a bamboo shoot, don't it? Anyway. Let's... Do some edges here. I've just mangled the whole end of that, but I have a whole bag of these. So. There we go. That really helps cut down on the shine. Now let's do this. That one's just a little bit too long. An older home, a colonial. Pretty straight. almost empty but I got a bunch more blue <laughs> there we 
we go. I almost put it in. Hi, Sharon. How are you, hun? My informed delivery show, I've got an envelope from you today, Sharon. And one from Jassy. And one from the hospital. <laughs> there we go. Not that one. How do you get informed? You go to UPS and make an account. UPS. USPS.com. United States Postal System.com. You make you an account and then you sign up for informed delivery. That easy. Sometimes it's off. You know, it, it'll say you're getting mail and it don't come. But it's pretty good from here. Just looking at words and then wild ones. That one's going to be good for that. Live, create, tell the story. Oh, and we're going to put this little leaf right here because this definitely is a little bamboo leaf. We're going to tempt our panda bear right there. <laughs> he may want to come over to this page. Try out that leaf. <laughs> I need to do my um I need to do my pronto prompts from last night because there was some interesting uh prompts last night. So I need to do those. We'll pin these together.
Good morning, Teresa. How are you feeling today, hon? So, uh, I'm really liking this quick dry adhesive from Scotch, but I went to look at how much it is a bottle on Amazon, and it, for this size bottle, it's over $9. So, I was looking, and they have a Aileen's Craft Glue, which I like. It's an, actually an Aileen's Tacky Glue. I like Tacky Glue. It's a little thick, but I do like it. But this is a quick dry one. And it's in one of those things that you can set the bottle upside down. You know what I'm talking about? It's called, I think, Quick Flow, but it's also a quick dry. I'm, I've wondered about, I wondered about it. It was a pretty decent price. Not that I need to buy glue. I've got bunches and bunches of glue I've got to use up before I buy any more glue. I do mean bunches. I can't even tell you how many bottles of just washable school glue I found as I was going through different drawers. It's kind of embarrassing how many. Okay, so we done. We have a that with that. What do we need over here? Let's see what we've got. We've got a kitty cat. We've got a plant. I think we may need a plant on that one. Yeah, I think we need maybe a plant there. I'm looking. I've got a bunch of stuff laid out here on, on my cabinet, on my counter. The upside down bottles, well, this was on Amazon, so I don't find them. I never had seen them in the store. Only reason that I even know anything about them is I watch Lynn over at A Bit of Bird Song, and she uses them a lot. You know what? I don't know that an ant, that, let's see this one, that a plant is what we need on this one, but I sure do like that blue-green. But it don't just do a whole lot for me with the background I chose. You know what we need on this right here? We need that. Where did it go? i just seen it. There it is. I think we need this right here. I think we need our dragonfly here. These here almost look like dragonflies. Looking on the screen. I like that okay. Not not completely sold on it. I'm hungry this morning. I have jelly beans. Those aren't real food, are they? They're just pure sugar and a little gelatin. <laughs> the deer don't look bad. I kind of like that, but I'm not positive. 
What's in this bucket? What did we decide was in this bucket? Did we? I think we pulled all the animals out of this bucket. You know what? Maybe this is what we need. Maybe we want a butterfly. Kind of like that butterfly. What is that right there? Hi, Anitra. How are you? Haven't seen you in a month of Sundays. I don't like that one. I'm just a crafting along. You having a sale tonight? You're painting violets? What are these for? You gave you gave your babies their gifts. Are these just for Jude? Guys, if if you're new here and you've never met I Spy Queen, this is Lady Anitra, and uh, she has uh, jewelry sales usually on Friday night, don't you? She usually does with Aaron Proctor, the ephemera guy. And Aaron sells ephemera, but I've never caught any of his sales where he was selling ephemera. Usually when I catch him, he is Usually selling jewelry. Ooh, I like that. I like that one very well. I think we're going to go with a butterfly. What do y'all think? Anyway, but yeah. She used to have sales with a lady named Cindy, but I don't think Cindy does it no more. I think I had heard that, that Cindy wasn't selling no more with you. So, have you been sick, sweetie? You don't do sales on your channel no more? Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Have you been sick? You said you feel better. Not doing too much. This is a mini journal, an accordion style mini journal. And if you wonder what I'm doing right here, I'm rubbing just some plain Elmer's glue over this glossy sticker just to take the gloss off of it. And it works pretty well. It has their grandkids. I can remember her name. I wonder why. Oh, every Saturday, he sells a little bit of everything. Every Saturday, you do it with Saturday. Do y'all do it over on his channel? Where do you know? You don't do auctions anymore. Where? And I know this may be an odd question. Do you know where he's located? Because I like to know if I'm going to buy ephemera, I kind of like to know where they've collected it from. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, honey. I I I do get that. <laughs> My sweetheart has a hard time with with depression due to his brain injury it just some days it just debilitates him and all he does is sleep all day and i just let him sleep because oh i do i try during the week of of a morning i try to craft nearly every morning some mornings i don't make it especially if i'm out running around but I try to craft on 
on uh, every morning. But on Tuesdays, I don't get on until afternoon because I spend my Tuesday mornings doing invoices so and packing up my stuff. So anyway, that's on his channel. Here we go. Okay. I'm gonna do that one right there like that. So Beth has been celebrating her five year anniversary on on her channel that she's been streaming for five years. And this is this month is actually the end of the month towards the first of April is actually the six year anniversary of me selling jewelry on YouTube. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. I think the first Monday night in in uh, April we will do a bunch of giveaways and have have a uh, big party. He gets his ephemera from a guy. <laughs> I got a guy. <laughs> I buy a lot of stuff and create ephemera packs myself, but uh, uh, I have a person that I've bought. I can't even tell you how many ephemera packs from on eBay, and uh, I usually get some really nice original, not reprints of old stuff, the old checks and stuff like that, the old prescriptions, just old book pages and stuff like that, which I have old book pages out the wazoo here. Oh, oh, I am so sorry. You know what? A lot of people just do not realize what having a family murder, a family member murdered does to a family. When I was three years old, my aunt and uncle were shot in their home, and my uncle died, and my aunt survived, and she lived all those years with a bullet lodged in her brain, and it caused, it, caused her to have um, dementia. As she got older, her, she had dementia really bad, and uh, um, yeah. You just don't know what it does. You do not know what it does to a family unless you've lived it. I remember my mom talking about the things that people would say, you know, about their family. My uncle was a minister, and it turned out that somebody that was mentally ill shot him. But his daughter actually got blamed for it. It, it was just a big mass anyway but my aunt my aunt survived and actually she was she's my aunt she's my mom's oldest sister she was my mom's older sister she passed away a few years ago which my mom is 79 she was my aunt would have been 89 i think this year so anyway but uh yeah Frisky letters. You know, that's one thing I have not got in, is any old love letters. I've not got anything like that. I have some that are 30-something years old from my own husband, but I ain't putting that in my stuff. This is turning out so cute. I am so thrilled with how cute this is. I've never made an accordion. A, a, a corny. <laughs> I make corny jokes all the time. An accordion little booklet. I've never done one. We only got two pages left, guys. <clears throat> and we'll just wrap this around it. And tuck that down in there. Tie it. There we go. Okay. Hold on. Let's do this. Did we get it? Okay. 
There we go. So we have these two pages left, and we'll be done. Oh, that's sad. I'm sorry, hon. I hate that for your family. So we have, we just did a plant. So we'll do an animal and we'll do one more journal page on this one right here. In fact, before we get all involved with doing this one right here, let's, um, let's go ahead and stamp our page right here. There it is. I was looking for my, for my thing. Yeah. Uh, did they did they solve his murder was it solved the crime solved I do these little lines so that uh, people can write on them. And I'm doing it like this before I put that paper on that one. So that if I go over on it, it'll be okay. There we go. See, I went over. There we go. That'll be fine. We'll put, I got some little blurry lines there, didn't I? Put a little set of leaves here. Somebody's puppy is crying. It's don't know where it is, but I heard it. It sounded like a little puppy. There we go. There's a journal page. Let's see what we want to put down here. I want to see. That's not it. I know what's in here. Wait. Is it, is it in here, in here? I don't see it. Not there. I have a page with some bigger words on it than this. But here's that one. Let's see what I'm looking for. There it is. I knew it was in here. Here we go. This right here is what I'm wanting. Only. Okay, let's look on the screen and see. Do we see? No, we don't see on the screen. I have a stack of stuff over here. This this box here can go up. I'm done with it. There they are. I knew it was going to be in that stack of stuff. We'll put some ink over the top of this since it is bright white there you go that says field notes and that one is the one we finished it is angels so we're down to one page and it's this one right here and we put a plant there so this one will be an animal Okay, this can go back into, okay, this right here, that color right there would be good.
Did anybody say if they had big plans for the weekend? Just had a shower and wash my hair, and uh, that's why we keep having hair. Because I probably have it tangled in my fingers. Because it falls out real bad. After, uh, oops, we don't want to can Sam on air. It's getting where it's not falling out as bad as it was when I, after I first got out of the hospital. But it do fall out. It do. There we go. Put that. And let's just, oops. This is the one we're done with. This one right here. Plant. Plant. Ooh. Belly growl. <laughs> oh, there's one of those right there. Fairies can go away. They get keep kept in a special place. Okay, let's pick these up. Surprisingly, I did not use that blue tick hound. <laughs> Do you want a deer? Oh, dear. We got this deer. They're very nice deer. But that's really not what I was thinking of. I was thinking... Of one of these. It's a fox. I thought it was a wolf. But if you look at his face. It's a fox right. It's a fox. That's not a wolf. Yeah. Those are foxes. Anybody else want to weigh in on that? <laughs> We're not going to do the roo. No kangaroo. Put all these back up. There we go. Oh, goodness. Okay. We're going to do this fox. Mm -hmm. 
have a little baby wipe there to wipe my finger. There we go. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay, let's see what kind of words we want. Those need to go in a little thing. Let's put them... Mm. There's only three of those. Let's put them in one of these. Put it back on the These here will go over in the die cut box. Okay. These here all go back. But we want to find some words for this guy. We found this one. And so the adventure begins. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> I don't promise to be perfect there. Get no straight. There we go. Those go in there. There we go. Those were in the stuff. You know, the stuff. Those were in the stuff. Okay, guys, we are finished with this little journal. Let's do a flip through. Y'all ready? Make sure we get through here. Okay, we had all of the clips down, didn't we? Didn't realize that. And let's see. Uh oh, sorry. I bumped y'all. I'm sorry. One right there, but I guess not. Bone folder out of the way. A little bit of trash up. That preacher's getting loud in there. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So we'll go through this one. Let's fold it up like it goes. So this is how you would open it. Here we go. There we go. So always be on the lookout for the presence of wonder. And it's got little birds. This I'm calling this a nature one. Okay. And our tie is glued in here on the first page. We've got one of my jelly prints and a mushroom. We've got a little page to write on. We have a kitty cat. We are fearless, independent, and original. Then we got a plant, and this little thing is a pocket right up here. There we go. We have a pocket. And I have a 
see if we can get to this. Into this. This is ephemera. Yes. One of these right here. Oh, maybe this one instead. Oh, that one's already cut. <laughs> There we go. I knew I stuck those in there the other day. So let's look for our little pink thing. There we go. that down in there and we will um actually we will cut the end off of this just a little bit we don't want to cut our mushrooms let's cut it let's cut it at the top and then we don't have to mess with our mushrooms is that straight looks pretty straight And we'll make us a little hole there. And we can slide that in there. Just like that. And that will be just fine. That's a good good size for it. So anyway. And then it goes on. And we have another place to journal. And it says adventures is adventure is worthwhile. This one says just breathe. This one is one of my um, one of my um, you have a weird sense of humor things. I cut his nose off and then I told him to just breathe. Anyway, then we turn over and this one is never doubt your instinct and we got a tiger. Here's us a journal and page. Live, create, tell the story. Here's us a little pocket. We put a little ticket in it. A butterfly. A plant. And this one is also a pocket. This one here is also a pocket. Let's see if we can get this to slide in there. It's a little bird and it has a little card. That's a, a twenty. There we go. Then we have... And so the adventure begins with the wolf. And then we have another little journey page. And we're back to the beginning. So I'm very happy with that. That's a cute little cute little thing. I still think I may want to cut that off. Just a smidge. Just a smidge. Actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to cut it off just like right here. Right under that. There we go. I'm going to there do this one more time. And this time let's hope I can get right in the center. There we go. And then we will slide it in there. There we go. And we'll slide it in and it can sit just like that. That way you know there's something in there. Okay, hon. You have a good one. Bye-bye. So, I'm, I'm happy with this. It turned out real cute. And I'll show you the fairy one that I finished. I finished it off screen. And then we're going to fold it a zine. Or at least we're going to attempt to. Okay. I've never done one before. And there. You can just tie that like that. And you got a mini journal. Those are so cute. So here's the here's our fairies. 
and they tied to the side. Turn it down. Okay. That's Priscilla Shire. She's getting with it. Fairy journal. We have a beautiful red-headed fairy. Oh no, the fairy king has lost his crown. I need to find some fairy king, some boy fairy uh, stickers. But I'm almost afraid to search that. <laughs> when in doubt, take a look around. Here's a beautiful fairy. There's a bird in a cage. Miracles happen when you believe. Hopefully that bird is believing to get out of the cage. Here's another bird in a cage. Collect beautiful moments. And that one is completely crooked. Here's a bee in a jar. And I don't know if you can see the jar or not. But there is a jar sticker there. You can see the glow of it. There you go. It says embrace beautiful chaos. And choose to see the good. A little butterfly. And then here's another little fairy fall in love with as many things as possible it's always the small pieces that make the big picture and then here hold on tight to your dreams and always a dream cl and i made that 321 so anyway i'm happy with that one too and i made the little dingle dangles there happy with those and it just ties, and you can tie it anywhere on the, I mean, you can make your bow sit up here. You can make it, I just like it sitting on the edge. So, there we go. Thank you. There we go. Those are cute. They go over, they'll go over here in a bucket of, Things I've already created. That is stuff. Okay. So we're going to try to fold an, a zine. And <laughs> Beth was folding hers on poster board. I don't want one that big. But I don't want it as small as a regular sheet of paper. So I have this sketchbook that is uh, 11 by 14. And we're going to use a piece of it. And we're going to go ahead and trim this off. There we go. Okay. Here we go. So she hot dog folded it what she called it a hot dog hot dog folded it and that's not very straight I can tell you that right now that's not very straight there we go okay she hot dog folded it you had to move to your other desk. And then she folded it like this. Like this. Now, you don't fold it no more, do you? Are you here, Sharon? Or Jude, do you know? Do you fold it anymore? You just do these four folds so that you have one. So, do you fold it one more time? I'm thinking one, two, no. There's got to be folds here. Right? Okay. A zine. A zine.
Okay, here we go. So hot dog, hot dog. Yes. One at a time and not in packs. Okay, this is my hamburger fold. I think I fold it here again, don't I? Don't I fold it again? I think so. I think this is what I want right here. There. Now, yeah, that's what I want. And then we open it. And we fold it. We go back to here. Hold on. Go back to here. And we cut it right here. Is that correct? Let's just cut it. Do I fold it in half again? Wait. She says I fold it in half again. So this is a hot dog. And then I folded it hamburger. I don't know that it was supposed to be called hamburger. And then I folded it in half again. I got it. And then I leave it like this and I cut it right here. Correct? Or do I turn it back to hot dog to cut it? See, it seems like she cut it like this. I think that's how we cut it. Yeah. And then we fold it back to hot dog to, yeah, like this. And like that, and like that, and like that, and like that, and like that. Is that right? Like that? I didn't number them like she numbered them. There. There. So one, two, yep, three, four. Three, four. That's it. Okay. So I feel like our folds are a little wonky donkey here, but that's good. So now we glue it. Now we glue it. So, you know, it takes. So she glued. Okay. Oh, Cindy, you're upside down. I see what you're doing. So she glued here on the bottom. I like to have messed up. I like to have glued it upside down. She glued here on the bottom. Hold on. There we go. You know what? It takes a piece of poster board size paper to to get one of these made that has that's halfway decent size, don't it? So you have a, a decent size paper to work on. Go on, Cindy. Zines will make you cry if you don't. There we go. There's the bottom fold. Okay, glued. Then we glue this one right here.
Okay, hun. Then we'll go to this one right here. All right. And that's good. And that's good. Then we'll glue this bottom one again. And now we have a zine. This is our first zine ever made that we ever made. And I'm thinking, and this is just me thinking, but you can sew signatures in these, can't you? I mean, couldn't couldn't I just put it here and sew it right in the middle? Sew a signature right there in the middle? Yes? So my folds are off, I can tell you that right now this one here and just keeps wanting to do that right there there so one two three four i can live with that <laughs> but i want to put signatures in it y'all know me i gotta be difficult so what if you folded another zine? Could you sew it together? Easily mailed. mailed. <clears throat> Let's have another sheet. This is the first time I've ever used any paper out of this sketchbook. This is came from the Dollar Tree out of the three dollar section. It stands up here beside the file cabinet. Okay. So this is what we're gonna try. Okay. Kind of like an ATC size booklet. Yeah. That's about the size you would get if you were using a piece of copy size paper. So we're going to we're going to fold another one. Let's do our hot dog fold first. I think that's how she started with with a hot dog fold. Let's see. I feel like I'm Seeing, not seeing good. Okay, let's. This end is the end we know is straight. That end up there is the end that I cut. There we go. Two. 
do that. I'll know that in. This is the end that I trimmed off the the fringe off of. There we go. Now we go back and fold it this way. My eyes are not wanting to be. There we go. Cooperative this morning. Okay. And we're going to fold one more time. Uh oh. That one's off. Okay, Cindy, you could be here all day messing with this, couldn't you? There we go. Mm -hmm. That you could, girl. That you could. I can't imagine that it would be easy to fold one of these as a with poster board. I mean, I just I would think that would be really hard. Is our this is how we start, right? Yes, no, it's not down there. Yes, this is how we start. There we go. Okay, we'll go here. Uh-oh. Turn that upside down. Shuckies. Wait. Now I understand why she, uh, yeah. I understand now why she, uh, numbered these so you can see which way you're going. Because I did this upside down and I've got a pocket glued shut that don't need glued shut. Yep, now I know why she numbered them with the three ATCs. 
Oh, yes. Um, the little ATC wallet. Now, I'm making what's called a zine, SMP. I'm making what's called a zine. Uh, it's a little fold, a little booklet that you fold out of one piece of paper and it gives you uh, eight pages to work on. And I'm doing two and I'm going to sew them together because that's what I like to do. <laughs> sew things together. The little wallet. Yes, the little wallet. Now this one. Yep. Show us what I have. A zine isn't supposed to be glued. She just glued hers, didn't she? So she'd have the pockets. Is that what, what it, that was about? So she'd have the pockets to put things in. I like the pocket. <laughs> so, so I'm with Beth on this one, okay? And do you see what I'm doing here? I'm going to have one page that is shorter because I glued the wrong end first. But that's okay. I can live with that. Because I'm going to open it out to mail it. Okay, I get it. There you go. I get it. I get it. It's supposed to be left open. Well, here, here we're going to, we're going to uh, even just go above and beyond because we're going to take two zines. Right here. And we're going to sew them together and make us a little booklet out of it. That's a Bethy design. Anyway, we're going to make us a booklet out of it. We're going to sew these two together. And then we'll have like 16 pages. Uh, Beth, uh, here we go. I'm reaching, Sharon. I'm reaching. Yes, I have on my leopard print jammies today. They're clean jammies. <laughs> now we have a Cindy design. Yep. <laughs> Okay, uh, Sharon was wanting to see the wallet. Look, Teresa Church. Those are twenties that you made and sent me. Okay, I can't pull it off because I glued it down. So it opens up like this. And then she has ATCs in it. And I glued it down. But uh, this is, Dana made this one. And uh, she put a little piece of Velcro on it so it would fasten. So, yep. And these are her ATCs. Look at that one with the metal bike sticker. That's cool. Yep. Yep. So this one is from Dana. And I think that's the only one I have that is. Let's see. Is that from Dana? Nope. That's from Kel Rawson. So. This is. <clears throat> this is my Happy Mail book. That has things that people created. I took all of the things out of it that I can use to craft with. And put them in my ephemera book. But things that people created are in this book. Like that one there. My friend Sharon R. created it. <laughs> so, uh, I think the people that have the most pages in this book is you, are you and Jude. I have lots of pages from Jude too. Here's more stuff from Sharon. Jude, Jude. 
Let's see. We're back here, getting back here to the empty pages. So, I have Happy Mail coming today. These are Dana's. Those were, did y'all see Dana's, uh, did y'all see Dana's paper dolls? They were really cute. Very fashionable. And I just put them on this page. Let's see. This one here, I absolutely love this. Weird. Y'all are my biggest fans. I absolutely love this was Pixie Cora's paper doll. It's a little bear. And then it actually has costumes that you can put it on it with the little tabs, just like a paper doll. It is so stinking cute. I didn't ever fold that one up. That one folds up there. And then it sits in this little thing called the berry garden. And that's a pinafore, another pinafore that you can put on her if you want her to have a basket instead of the, uh, instead of the, but that one doesn't have a hat that goes with it instead of the um, flowers. So there were all kinds of little things. What? Oh, you just found my channel. So, this one is a Jude page. Now, Beth has quite a full folder up here on hers. And I'm not sure. Oh, that's Sharon. I'm pretty sure that's a Sharon one. Nope, that's Robin Skywatch. I should have known that. Robin likes to make these little things like this. She paints them and then scribbles them. There's the Jude, a Jude page. But I'm looking for my little granny that Jude sent me. There it is. The sweet little granny. I just love it. So, And then this is some of her, her uh, printing, her gel printing. So those are notes. I, I have quite a few things from Kristen. That is from Birdsong, a thank you card from Birdsong. That's from Sharon. These are, I believe, from Kristen They're when we did ATC swap on my channel. So, anyhow, I do a swap, try to do a swap every month. So, those are from Jude. I'm just positive those are from Jude. Yeah, ATC swap with Jude. Because I recognize the um, this. This is all from Sharon. Sharon made these. Have y'all seen these? Sharon made these. You enjoy crafty stuff? Um, Sharon made these where she they did the Frida notebooks. And she sent me a Frida notebook. They're cute. Sharon goes to days where she crafts all day long. She goes to crops. You know, I don't ever hear of people around here having crops. So, this is a card from Sherry Van. And then there are some things in there from Sherry Van. This is Robin Skywatch. This one is Angela Snyder. You know, I've not seen Angela Snyder around in a while. I was thinking about that the other night. She was my first swap. The first time in Best Group that I swapped was for ATCs, and she was my, one of my first partners. I think I only did one that time. That's a thank you note from April. This might be from, I think this is from Teresa. I think you die cut this and sent it to me. Pretty sure you did. This is die cut. It is not a, um, it is not a um, actual, you know, a doily like you get at Dollar Tree. This is die cut. We'll put that on a page. And then this is Beth's. And these are from Beth. These Twinchies. Those are from Dana. And that's from Sharon. So I like to keep. And this is from Barbara Batcher. That's when we did paper dolls. So 
So, <gasps> Angela Snyder, there you are. I didn't know you were here. I didn't. I hadn't seen you at Beth's in a long time. So, anyway, this late. Oh, you know what? That may be from Dana. This one's from Dana. It says the lacy cutout is from Dana. Are you doing okay, hun? I just had. I don't know if you've been at Beth's and I've just missed you or what. This is a cutout from Beth. And the, the coffee dyed things are from Beth too. So anyway, so this is Happy Mail Book. And when people send me things, it goes on it. You've been stalking silently. Well, uh, that is amazing that you just popped in that after I said I haven't seen you in a while. I love it. So and as you see, I'm very fond of this kind of a tie. And so I've fixed up my shelf over here. Y'all don't get dizzy, okay? I've fixed up my shelf. We'll move real slow. And I've fixed up my shelf over here so that I can stand up all of my journals that I'm working in right now. So that shelf right there are journals I'm working in. This bottom shelf, let's see if I can pull me that back down. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. I, I get it. I had bad health problems last year, but I am doing very well this year. That one journal you see sitting there is a, one of my prayer journals. I gave one of them away to uh, uh, a girl in my church that's getting married. She had already had an established home, and so it said just do fun things. And I thought, you know what? A prayer journal would be perfect for a newlywed. So we're going to sew this together right quick. And then we really do need to do those those prompts, but we may do them off screen. Here's us that. Yeah, there there's a lot of people having a lot of health problems right now. So I know that Cheryl is Teresa's been battling something for a while. Cheryl's going through a bunch of tests. So we're going to sew these two zines together and then we'll have a booklet that will have one, two, three, should have 16 pages. Oh, I definitely will. I definitely will. I'll write you down to go in my prayer journal. So, yep. So we're, we're not measuring anything. We're just poking holes, guys. These are the, this right here is the way I like to do, do bindings where you just poke holes. You don't need to measure anything. We're, not doing a bunch of stuff. I'm, this one's almost gone. We're going to use it up. One, two, three. So, we'll just pull this out a needle. There we go. And sew that sucker right in there. To keep a couple together these days. Yeah, I, I told her, I said, uh, I said, this is a gift for you, but it will affect Trevor too. As you pray your way through this book, your prayers will affect him. So, there we go. She's getting married on 420. We have two getting married this year. Two of our ladies, young ladies, are getting married. So that sucker together. I can tell you right now, this ain't the best paper in the world. It's already wanting to rip there. So it, we will be doing some washi taping for sure on the edges of that. There we go. And just like that, we have. Two little zines. Yes. Yes. In the name of Jesus, we agree with, with Teresa's prayers. Yes, indeedy, we do. There we go. There we go. You need to be sure. Amen and amen and amen. Angela, you need to be sure when you're at Beth's, when she's doing the prayer request, that you say you're there so she can make sure to add your name. But 
if she does when she does on Saturday night, if you're not there, I'm going to tell her, please add Angela Snyder to the prayer list. One of us will definitely, I'm sure. So we're going to put some washi tape right over our little spine because that right there is a little wonky donkey. And we just threw our nope. We're not gonna do. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna put some lace over it. Here we go. There's another one of my little clippies. Here we go. We're gonna put a piece of lace over it. There we go. We got a piece of lace just like that. Put a piece of lace over it. There is power in the name of Jesus. <laughs> we are, I, I read through my story. Of course, you know, I know because I make the schedule. I know what we're doing in children's church every week. I know what the lesson is going to be. And so uh, we've been studying about Jesus is the way maker. And, uh, and this one was, an, was a different one, of course. It, it's biblical because of what Nebuchadnezzar says. But this one is the way maker in the fiery furnace. And so I've been, I was looking for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego songs. I found two real fun ones. So this morning. So here we go. We're going to glue this down. Glue this down. Just like that. There we go. And we're going to put some glue on. Some more glue. We don't have enough glue. Oh, there. there. Okay, so we're not going to decorate this today. We are going to get out our prompt book and we're going to do these prompts right quick. Prompt book. Prompt book. Prompt book. Pronto prompts. So, last night's pronto prompts were what? The messages. Uh, Facebook. Best group. There we go. Pronto prompts. Design a mug, treasure map, ATC, bodacious border, thick and thin, and the blingy Easter eggs. Okay. We need right here. We don't don't drop all that, Cindy. You'll cry if you do. Don't fall out of your chair, Cindy. Oh, my pocket. My, I'm dumping stuff, guys. Let me lose this. I don't want to dump that bag of jewelry stuff. Okay. <sighs> There we go. I was beginning to get worried that we weren't going to get in there. Okay. Like that, like that. There we go. Treasure maps. <laughs> That's where it goes. 
Okay. Treasure map. Here we go. Now. Okay. This is. Let's write it down. So we remember. Design a mug. Treasure map. ATC. Bodacious border. Thick and thin. Okay, here we go. Anybody have a clue where to buy these great big ones like this? That one's real bad. That one's really rough. I need some more of those that size. Here we go. We're going to cover our whole page. Our map is upside down. <laughs> it's okay. It is okay for it to be upside down. So we have all of our stuff there. Here we go. We're going to do this. So Sam's kind of just going to smooth all that out. Make sure we got glue everywhere because we need that a lot of glue for that. There we go. There we go. That looks good. And I'm going to match it up at the bottom and go up like that. Just like that. Woolly Hollow State Park. That's real close to where I used to live. There we go. Actually, we may put our treasure right there. That may be where our X marks the spot. Now, let's do this. I think cutting right along there is going to do us really good. Yep, that's good. And we'll do this. Oops. Like that. We'll go like this. There we go. And that, my friends, is a treasure map. Right there. There's treasure. Oh. Let me see, let me see, let me see if I can see. <laughs> okay, guys, here we go. That's Marshall. Stone, Edgemont, Groswell. Okay, here's Clinton. Nope. Let's see if I cut it off. I'll cut it off. So 
Somewhere this way. Oh, no. no, not that way, Brinkley. Maybe it's back this way. It already been cut off. Yeah, I was looking to see if I could find. Um, If I could find uh, the town in Arkansas where the diamond mine is. I'm trying to think what it's called. I used to live right next to it. And I can't even think what it's called. But it's not on this map. So we're going to make our treasure be found right here in Woolly Hollow State Park. Right here. And we're going to do it right there. And we're going to do. Yeah. Pronto prompts. Design a mug. This is my treasure map. An ATC. Bodacious borders. Thick and thin. So we're going to go. We're going to write. 10 steps. East of tree. Turn around. Twenty steps to your left. There you go. Directions. X marks where you dig. There we go. Very good. There we go. There we go. Okay. So this is our treasure map. That can be done. That can be dinged off. Okay. So now we're going to design a mug and let's put our put our thing back on our thing and and this is what we're going to do for our mug. We're going to use this bookmark. And we're going to cut it just like this. And we're going to go right here. Make it too big. This is going to be our mug. Leave a minute right in there. Actually, let's glue our handle down first. On a mug. Sharon, did you do these last night while she was crafting? I know sometimes you do them. And there's our mug. And if we want to, we can do this. this and color in our leaf uh, we'll color in 
this leaf too. There's a leaf. There's a leaf. These smell so good. This is bergamot. This smell is bergamot. I don't know if that's a leaf or a flower, but it got colored like a leaf. That one looks like a leaf too. There we go. Oops. Hi, Beth. We are doing our pronto prompts from last night. There we go. And we're designing our mug right now. So here's a flower. Oops. That looks like the edge of a flower. We'll do some little dots on that. That looks like the edge of a flower. There's some little dots. This one is watermelon. And it smells like watermelon. Well, like watermelon candy. It don't smell like real watermelon. I wore my watermelon earrings to church. Not la not this last Wednesday night. Not this past Wednesday night. Wednesday night before that. And the little boys, my, my little twins that are five, kept looking at them. And they finally one of them said, Miss Cindy, can we have watermelon? <laughs> I said, not tonight. There's none here, buddy. He said, I really like watermelon. I said, me too. It's the best dollar I've ever spent buying those earrings from Robin. They're so cute. We'll do this. That's a leaf right there. There's a flower. Okay, speaking of, let's see, there's the green one, isn't it? We missed that leaf. Oh, that's the wrong color. That's not bergamot, is it? Yeah, it is. That's funny. I would have swore I had bergamot all ago. I guess not. What did I have? I don't know, but we're going to have yellow for this pineapple. So, are you doing a project with a watermelon? This is our pineapple. There we go. Okay. Hmm. Oh, here. We'll do this. This color out here for our... We need some steam coming out of our coffee cup. There we go. That way you'll know it's a mug. There. Okay. There's our mug. Design a mug. ATC and bodacious border and thick and thin. And I'm going to combine my... Okay. I'm going to combine my... Thick and thin, and my bodacious borders together. There's that. Here's a thick. We're going to trim those where they match. And we need to find out how long we need to cut that off. There. Hey, Jude. Okay, these are my thick ones. And I know they don't look very thick. These are my thick ones. Bodacious borders. You see what I'm doing? I accidentally covered up all my directions. Drats. Let's do a thin one right there. And I'll do a thin one right here. 
thick one up here. That's just a piece that's just laying up there. And a thick one up here. Okay. There we go. And there we go. I know y'all can't see what I'm doing. I'll be right there, okay? I'm punching something. There we go. That is a bodacious border right there. That one right there. Trying to match them up. I really like EK punches. They punch better than any of the other ones I have. Whoops. I nearly dropped that on my foot. There we go. Bodacious border there. What's on the color of that one? Thanks, Beth. Thanks for stopping in. There we go. Uh, I've got little pieces of paper all over me. What time does it say? 11.34. Heard the dogs going. Sometimes that means the mail's running. What's on the back of that one? Do we want to do that? Yeah, let's do that. Here's our thin one. Here's a thin one. <laughs> there we go. And here's a thin one, a thin long one. So. Hey guys, if you are not subscribed to Beth, make sure you subscribe to her. She's trying to hit the thousand mark. She's only like 60 something away, I think, last time I looked. There we go. That one's good. And we're good. Here we go. Just trim those where I didn't quite match that up right. There we go. Okay. Those are good. Now let's start on this one. There. I nearly put it upside down. We'll go here. Oops. Go like that. We have a bodacious border there. 
these are not quite as bodacious as my eyeball borders. Remember my eyeball border I done the other day? That one was very bodacious. <laughs> then we'll do this one. There we go. And this covered our thick and thin too. This covered our thick and thin prompt also because we've got thick ones and thin ones. I like killing two birds with one stone. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay, so we have done thick and thin. Bodacious Borders, Treasure Map, there's our directions to the treasure, we designed a mug, and now we need an ATC, and guys, I have, let me see, I have a blank ATC card here, and we're going to do this. Do we want that piece right there? We are. We do. We do. We're going to tear this. We're going to make an ATC card to do what we want it to do. Okay. Now we want to. I cut those out the other day out of leftover scraps. And uh, so that's good. And we're going to take this. Hi, Mara. How are you today, hon? You feeling better? Last week you weren't feeling so great. I saw you two last night, I think, at Beth's, but I don't, I, I know I said hi to you, but I didn't ask you how you were feeling. I'm going to stick that right there. Car out front. Here we go. This one is going to be a long one today, it would appear. But we're getting close to being done. Oh, that's what I forgot to put back in there. I see. There we go. Now, just because, <laughs> just because is one of the, my favorite things to do. I'm sorry that you're having a high pain day.
Take that back in there. We'll lay that back there for now. So, uh, we need to put some uh, bling on our ATC. There we go. And we're going to put some bling right there on our treasure. And we're going to move that down. And we're going to take a picture of it so we can put it on best group. And we're going to be done. Woohoo! Hold on. There, lock that up. There we go. Okay. ATC, Bodacious Borders, Thick and Thin, Design a Mug, Treasure Map. There we go. Looks great. Thank you. Thank you, Myra. Here we go. Let's see. Where is my favorite ink pen? There it is. Three, twenty-two, twenty-four. Beth's Pronto Prompts. And let's see. Let me just look back here and see. Flourishes were what my was what my um, last thing was. So let's see what the book says. My last prompt was flourishes. Last day on earth. <laughs> Doodled inspiration. These are just examples. Gratitude journal on page. Journal bliss. These are just some of the Examples, image transfer techniques, make your own envelope, graffiti, is that going to be our next one, funky envelope art, random, writing backgrounds, groovy backgrounds, Okay, so doodling. We're done doodling. Fun with flourishes was the last one we did. Making faces with colorful things. Long neck girl. Groovy backgrounds. Okay, so we, that's about as groovy as we can get for this one. But you know what I'm thinking? Groovy backgrounds. Making texture. Writing backgrounds. Decorative. I've done that bird. I have that bird. In fact, I have it cut out. Random crazy quilt background. Follow your bliss. So this were a funky envelope art is the next one. So I don't think we're going to add that to this. What book is this? It's called... Journal Bliss, Creative Prompts in Unleash to Unleash Your Inner Eccentric. Somebody gifted me this. I think it was Billy Sims that gifted me this from somebody's art auction. So, anyway. Yeah. So, I've been adding... So we may add some flourishes here to the um, to this. We may add some flourishes to our bodacious border. Just do that. I'm gonna 
rot add on flourish flourishes there we go okay treasure map design a mug ATC bodacious border thick and thin and flourishes and put a star there so we'll know it's an add-on There we go. There we go. And we're done with this. Camera. There we go. Facebook, we are in Beth's group. Uh, pronto prompts. Pronto prompts. They were from last night, which would be in 321. Oops, I put 421. 3-21. And we'll add our picture. There we go. There you go. Well, guys, I've been here two hours, and uh, I will say bye, and probably not see you again until Monday. I probably won't come on tomorrow, so uh, I've got everything done. I will be decorating this little book that we made, this little zine book. We will be decorating it uh, maybe next, yeah, next week, so we'll decorate it next week. So, we'll leave this out and let it dry. I'm very happy with this book. So, anyway, that book is a lot of fun. This journal is called Journal Bliss. It's a lot of fun. It's beautiful. I love just looking at the pictures in it. Because it gives me great, lots of ideas. There's Frida. So, anyway. Yep. I love it. So, Anyway, y'all have a great weekend, and I will see y'all Saturday night, I'm sure, at Beth's. So, anyhow, bye-bye. Got to find the mouse. There it is. <laughs>